Right guys, this is a quick info on adding and subtracting fractions. We're going to start off with um, adding fractions where maybe only one of your denominators need to change. So for example, 3 fifths add 2 tenths. So step one, find your lowest common multiple. So the lowest common multiple in your 5 and your 10. So do 5s, do your 10s, what's the first number that appears in both? So the lowest common multiple in this case is 10. Okay, so you need to convert your three fifths into tenths. Okay, your two tenths gets to stay the same. So ask yourself, what have you multiplied your five by to get to your ten? You've multiplied it by two. Whatever you do to the bottom, you do to the top. So three times two gives you six. Now you can add them all together, and you've got eight tenths. Okay, so that's one where you only need to change one of them, okay? I'm going to have a look where you might need to change both of your fractions. So two thirds add one quarter. So again, step one, find your lowest common multiple. So G3, G4, which is the first number that appears in both of them. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 4, 8, 12. So they both need to be converted into 12. So ask yourself, what have, you, what have you done to your 3 to get to 12? You've multiplied it by 4, so you do the same to the top. 2 times 4 gives you 8. What have you multiplied your 4 by to get to your 12? You've multiplied it by 3, so you do the same to the top. So then that would be 3. So then the question is, 8 twelfths add 3 twelfths. Okay, here's your answer of 11 twelfths. Okay, the last one I wanted to show you was if you were um, adding and subtracting mixed numbers. And there's two ways you can go about this, okay? So 1 and 3 ninths add 2 and 2 thirds equal. So, first way is by partitioning it and add your whole number, add whole number. So 1 add 2 equals 3. So I'm going to underline it. That's part of my answer. And then I've got step two. I've got three ninths and two thirds. And now this bit is exactly like it was in the last one. Just need to find my lowest common multiple. My threes and nines, which is nine. So then it'd be three ninths and what have I converted times it by three? Two times three is six. So when I add those together, 3 ninths and 6 ninths give me 9 ninths, which is the same as one whole. And that's my other answer. So then to get my final answer, I add them together. So I do my 3, add my 1, so my actual final answer is 4. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. The other way is by changing your fractions to improper fractions. Okay. So where they're top heavy. So to remember how to do that, you multiply your whole number by your denominator. So 1 times 9 is 9, and then add on your 3. Okay, so you have 12 ninths, add, then it'd be 2 times your 3 is 6, add on your 2, which is 8, add 8 thirds. Okay, and then that's when you need to convert it. 12 ninths add, and then you convert it to 9, so you've times it by 3, so you do 8 times 3, which gives you 24, then when you add them together, 12 and 24, which gives you 36 over 9, which we know goes in exactly 4 times, okay? So, it, you need to pick which way it works best for you, doing it like this. With home to partition it or doing it turn changing it to a mixed number it is your choice okay right let's have a look at some subtraction so 8 12 to take away 2 6 equals so step one find your lowest common multiple so my lowest common multiple this time is 12 so that's going to stay the same i'm going to convert my 2 6 to 12 so times it by 2 2 times 2 is 4 so 8 twelfths take away 4 twelfths gives me an answer of 4 twelfths. Can it be simplified? Can you divide them both by the same number? Yep, you divide them both by 4, so that would be 1 third as well. Okay? Right, so I've got one slightly harder. So let's have 9 eighths take away 4 six. 
looks like. Doesn't matter that this is top heavy, okay? You often find that with subtraction. That's absolutely fine. So find your lowest common multiple. And it's not 48. It is 24. Now, what have I done to my 8 to get 24? I've times it by 3. 9 times 3 is 27. I've done to my 6 to get 24. I've times it by 4. 4 times 4 is 16. So then do the subtraction, 27, take away 16, and you'll be left with your answer. My brain's up like an 11. 11 over 24. Right, I'll show you as a mixed number, and again, I'll show you the two different ways. So let's have 2 and 4 eighths, take away 1 and 1 quarter. Okay, so you can do it partitioning, 2 take 1 equals 1, that's part of your answer. You've then got 4 eighths, take away 1 quarter, so find your lowest common multiple, that's 8. So that will stay the same. What if I multiplied it by? Multiplied it by 2, do the same to the top. So then 4 eighths, take away 2 eighths, which gives me 2 eighths. So that is also part of my answer. So altogether my answer will be 1 and 2 eighths. Okay? Let's just show it you the other way. 2 and 4 eighths take away 1 and 1 quarter. Okay? So converting to improper fractions, so 2 times 8 is 16 and your 4 is 20. So 28 take away, then 1 times 4 is 4, add on your 1 is 5 quarters. Okay? Again, my lowest common multiple is 8. So that will stay the same. Multiply that by 2. So then it'd be 5 times 2 is 10. 10 take, 20 take away 10 equals 10 over 8, which again can be converted to 1 and 2 eighths. Or you can simplify it to 1 and a quarter. Okay? Hope that helps.